Please welcome to our stage Cox Automotive Executive Vice President and V Auto Founder, Mr. Dale Pollack. Thank you. Thank you for the honor and privilege of being with all of you here today. And it is a great day. It's the beginning of a new academic year at Northwood University and the start of new possibilities. Now, all of you have my respect for being here today. I'm told that this convocation is not mandatory and that there's no credit. That means you could be someplace else doing something different. But you chose to be here. And some might say that it's for the free snacks or lunch later, but I know better. I believe that all of you came here today to satisfy your curiosity and commitment to learning and to taking in all that this opportunity has to offer. And for that reason, for all of us, the 2018-19 academic year is already off to a great start. So congratulations to you and hats off. Now, for me, delivering a convocation speech is a little bit tricky. Trust me when I tell you that I am not the one to tell you how to be a better student. And I'm not one to show you how to apply more academic rigor. My college transcripts are a clear testament to the fact that I'm not an academic role model. All too often, I left the books behind in favor of the distractions of a college campus and for being on my own for the first time. But I managed to do OK and even earns some distinction. But I'm not here today to tell you about all those great, good, bad, painful, and ugly experiences that make up my life story. Rather, I'm here to share with you today three important lessons that I've learned and live by that might serve useful to you as you pursue your personal, academic, and professional careers. The first of these lessons is that you cannot and should not pursue happiness as a life goal. Now I know you probably have been told somewhere along the way that your happiness is above all else. So I'll say it again, you cannot and should not pursue happiness as your life goal. Allow me just a few moments to explain. First, happiness is elusive. It finds you. It's not as if you can chase it, capture it, and hold it for your own. So it's not really something to be pursued. And second, happiness is fleeting. It's not as if there's a happy button that you can press and suddenly be happy and stay happy. Life is a series of ups and downs, and we're emotional people. Happiness is likely to go often as quickly as it came. And you might be lucky today and be happy, but tomorrow not so lucky and profoundly sad. And that's why I know that you can never really achieve happiness as a life goal. So what is it about happiness? Where does it come from? And what's it all about? Well, I believe that happiness comes from someplace very deep inside, someplace very much connected to your emotional soul. But here's the thing that I've come to understand about happiness. There's actually a required foundation, a necessary prerequisite, and that is meaning. Meaning 
in the things that you choose to do every single day. I know that I'm happiest when I work hard to make somebody better and more successful. When I commit my time and resources to a cause of greater need. When I take an idea and turn it into a product that helps somebody be more successful. You see, when I do meaningful things, I feel good. And that serves as a necessary foundation to be and to stay happy. Now, to be sure, what's meaningful to me and makes me happy may be different for you. But here's the thing. We all have the ability to know what is meaningful to us because it's right here. And it's been there since the day you were born. The key, of course, is to give yourself the opportunity, the space and time to discover what really matters and means the most to you. And that, my friends, is what much of your academic and professional careers should be all about. And the best thing of all is that when you pursue a life of meaning, it's actually achievable. What's meaningful to you is not elusive, it's not fleeting, it's your true north. And when you discover it, you'll see the beacon that will guide you to happiness and the happier life that we all want. Second, we must all learn not just to accept change, but to embrace it. I've spent close to 40 years in the automobile business as both a car dealer and a tech entrepreneur. And I can tell you that there's been more change in the last five years than the previous 100 years when Henry Ford got it all started right down the road from here. There's disruption everywhere in the business, and it's around every corner. Today, cars drive themselves. Many young people, and perhaps many of you, don't have the same interest in owning a car as people of my generation did. Many of you perhaps would rather go online, or for that matter, go to the dentist, than buy a car from your local car dealer. And on top of it all, margins are shrinking. It takes more capital today to own and operate a dealership than ever. And guess what? When we sell a car today, we make less money than we did 25 years ago. Today, there's little room for an average dealer. It takes an ever higher level of expertise and operational efficiency just to make a go of it, let alone a profit. The car business has become a business where change, disruption, and uncertainty are permanent fixtures. And making a profit is in no way, shape, or form guaranteed. But you know what's really interesting? In spite of all those dark clouds, there are still dealers that are bullish on the business. They see change, but they perceive opportunity. They're not putting out the for sale sign, they're searching for them. And what makes these dealers different is their ability to accept and adapt to a rapidly changing business. They understand tradition, but they're not held back by it. They're willing to peek around the corner and try new things that may not make sense at the time, financially or otherwise. I'm 100% certain that no matter what career or profession you choose to pursue, there will be significant disruption in the years ahead, such as the reality of a tech-driven internet environment. And while none of us can predict the future, 
I believe that we can all learn to anticipate it and to assess the potential impact. Be ready and receptive for change. And we can learn to iterate and change our course to meet the challenges that lie ahead. One of my favorite quotes is from Mark Twain. He said, it ain't what you don't know that will get you. It's what you know for sure that just ain't so. And then the third and final lesson that I'd like to share with you today is that I want to encourage you, and in fact, I want to implore you to have some fun. Take a nap. Climb a mountain, play a piano, dare to dream, and for goodness sakes, never stop daydreaming. The best and brightest minds in business and elsewhere are only brighter when they give themselves the rest and the room to roam. Experience tells me that the more you do these things, the more likely you are to find your meaning and your true north. And that, my friends, will guide us all to the happier and more productive life that we all want. So in conclusion, on behalf of Cox Automotive and the On behalf of Cox Automotive and the Cox family, I want to wish all of you the best of luck in the coming year here at Northward University and beyond, and say thank you for the incredible opportunity to share this moment with me. Thank you very much.